Hello and welcome, my Libra friends, to our um, July 2016 Clairvoyant Alchemy reading. Yes, how about that? Half of the year is gone, and we're going to look forward to this with promising, with promising, you know, eyes wide open. And I look forward to this reading because my rising ascendant sign is in Libra. So, and that's, you know, all about the balance. The Libra um, is number 11, Justice card, the balance scales. And it's about bringing in harmony and peace, grace, and love and, you know, fairness, justice, diplomacy, and mainly partnerships. And I do want to bring this up, my Libra friends, that coming September 9th, 9-9, 2016, and 2016 number, uh, 2016 is also a number nine, so we've got 999, that the planet Jupiter, all about abundance, okay, life, growth, expansion, is going into the, you're in our sign, Libra. And it'll be there for 13 months, and it'll exit on 10-10-2017, which 10-1-10-1, ten, one, ten, one, and 2017 is a one. Okay, so it's one one one, which is a three. So if you see the dynamics of all of that, and the, the Jupiter goes like you can say it's it's a number nine cycle, okay? Because then it'll go back to the next uh, zodiac sign to start all over again. So we are ending this year. Twenty sixteen is ending this cycle of number nine. So take advantage in that it falls on nine nine nine, my labor friends. Please, um, you know, I was pretty, if you've been following me, pretty uh, electric with the uh, full moons in the sign of Sagittarius, also ruled by Jupiter, okay? So we need to acknowledge that there's hardcore medicine for us, you know, wisdom. The, the cosmic realm are sending us messages big, big time. And then what's so beautiful about Libra? We're ruled by Venus. Okay, Venus, you know, she's all about that beautiful love and, 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 and beauty. And also she's like the spiritual treasure. She's our spiritual treasure. Literally, we can witness planet Venus just looking up to the sky. Okay, she's, you know, some people think she's a star because she's so bright. It's just wonderful. So I encourage my labor friends, please, whether, you know, it's, it's your sun sign, moon, right? Moon sign, rising sign, or one of your loved ones. For all of us, just like a new moon, full moon, everyone can take advantage of this power, this cosmic power that's bringing us, you know, they're trying to tell us codes, people. No doubt about it. They're trying to tell us, look, we're coding you right now. Pay attention. <laughs> so let's pay attention, okay? Pay attention to your intuition. Get outdoors, go outside, look up, look up, look up, look up to the stars, make a wish, huge theme as well, make a wish upon those stars, and let's see what happens, okay? I mean, how can we deny that, you know, even, you know, there's people who don't believe in God and don't believe in anything, okay? They're the, what do you ever call them, atheists or whatever it is, but no man created the stars and the moon and the planets. Okay, that's a cosmic realm that is beautiful. So let us embrace it, tap it, spiritual wisdom, intuition. Okay, be sensitive and realize that we're on this beautiful planet and beautiful things can happen when you believe. Okay, miracles happen every day and your guardian angels are around you all the time. You just have to kind of pay attention. Okay, and I'm sorry, I sometimes get wound up because, you know, I am, in my chart is Libra, uh, and I don't have any Sagittarius in my chart, so, but I was still pumped up. But let's see what happens now for this July, okay? And I, I chose to work with the angel tarot cards, okay, because they're always in the air, <laughs> and Libra is an air element, and again, another masculine active. All right, just like the fire, I dropped the fire sign yesterday. 
So let's take action. Okay, let's take action. And then actually our court card is the kings. Okay, and we want clear consciousness to rule ourselves and help aid others to fruition. Okay, and the dream tarot, tarot of the dreams is with me. And Archangel Raphael, actually, for the month of July, um, it's his month. And he is bringing in happy meetings, okay, meeting people that perhaps maybe you know, physically you've met a long time ago, but you're recognizing again, or it could be a past life personality that is that you just see again and you feel, you know, soul to soul, heart to heart. It could be, you know, Libra all about the partnerships, okay? Definitely. So it can be like, um, you know, you literally are meeting a soul mate. And I'm not saying that so much in a, not a twin flame personality size, but you, you know each other. You can recognize that, hey, we get each other like-minded. But yes, the lover's cards have come out in July already. So this uh, eventually or potentially could be also a love affair between a twin flame. Okay? So pray to Archangel Raphael and, and let the magic happen. Okay? Let the magic happen. So for um, these clairvoyant alchemy readings, I do six card spread. So let me see what we're going to have today. But I think it's wonderful. I think it's wonderful. And, and Libra, you know, you're all about those partnerships, okay? We're all about the partnerships. And we're also about that balance. So don't give up. And the mantra, your mantra is, I balance, okay? I balance. And being ruled by Venus, how beautiful is that? And as the seventh house, it's all about partnerships, intimate relationships, and marriage. So that's why I want to see what comes out. You know, if the lovers come out for your reading, Libra, then we know a happy meeting could be something like that, okay? That you recognize your twin flame, and potentially it could be, you know, an intimate relationship towards marriage. So that would be beautiful. Okay. So it does help me to uh, do a little deep breathing, if you don't mind. So join me. And so we want to first exhale out solid and strong. We bring our abdominal wall in, our belly in. And then we inhale just as strong and Buddha belly out. Okay. Uh, deep breathing is so essential to spirituality. Actually, you know, all the yogi masters, it's all about breathing. And so we need to do that. You know, no, no shallow breathing. Even, even if you're in your car, you can practice this. If you're, you know, sitting, even watching entertainment on TV, you can practice this. Okay. It's very important. It's a deep breathe. It opens up our lungs and that's, you know, surround our heart surrounded there. So embrace your heart zone as well. And for the Libra friends, if you are seeking a, you know, a relationship of intimacy, it's all about that love chakra. Okay. And also with Archangel Raphael, he's all about the heart. He's the healing angel, but he comes from the heart zone. Okay. He's all about the green light. The love heart chakra, which I think it's called Anahata. <laughs> I don't know people. I'm trying to learn these things. I'm trying to learn Hebrew letters. I'm trying to learn the 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 Hindu ways. But it's the baby steps. We take baby steps every day. Okay. Hold on, this. I don't usually shuffle like this, but when I got the unis, I, for those of you who follow me, I love them. So, yes, I'm a little jacked up because this is in my sign. So, you know, with Pisces and uh, Virgo is my moon sign. So I, I try to really put more effort into the reading. So let's um, exhale out strong again. Okay. 
really tight. And inhale, just as strong. Buddha belly up. I brought the Tarot of the Dreams out so that, you know, when we go into, if you're becoming now more sensitive and you're recognizing that your thoughts can manifest beauty and your dreams can tell you much wisdom, and, and Luna's all about the dreams and the imagination, you know, where your mind is at, at night, you, you really shouldn't have a little journal, a piece of paper or something, so when you wake up, you can note what you saw in your dreams, you know, in your mind's eye. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, my dears, and then we'll end with one of Archangel Raphael. All right, so let's see what the um, angels have to say for the Libra friends. Queen of Earth, thoughtful, creative, warm, and sensible. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. There we are. Isn't this beautiful? The Queen of Earth, the Queen of Pentacles. And to open up the reading, she's pretty much telling you, you have to master yourself, okay? Because the queens and the kings are all about mastering in all areas that are desired. They, they've been through it. They've been through everything. And that's why they're now the kings and the queens. Okay. And they're about that authority and success. But the queen of earth, literally, she is, um, in, and the earth is the diamonds in a deck of cards. She is about that financial and business mastery okay but um, she literally is the philanthropist in the deck and so you know she likes to spend money <laughs> but that's okay she she gives she donates and you can see how her alchemy how she's bringing that you know pot of gold out there for you as well okay you see that and that's what it is my darlings you work with the you know universe you work with spirit and then they know that you're there for them. And then they come for you. And, and it's about providing a service as well, aiding people, okay? And we've been talking about decluttering yourselves. You know, let go of what no longer you need in your home. Donate it, donate it, okay? Many people would wish, you know, to have clothes that you don't want anymore. Many people would wish to have, even, even if you're, you know, kind of like changing your house and the cabinets in your kitchen are still good, but you're upgrading. Donate those cabinets. You know, some people, some people need a lot. I love that she came out. I do. I do, I do. I love that card. Actually, in the divination system that I work, my birthday is March 11th, 1960. And I am a queen of earth. <laughs> so that she has come out is, you know, she's just telling me, keep doing what you're doing. And I love it. I, I, you know, and that, you know, my rising is in Libra. She's just telling me again, just keep doing it. And that's why I want to share with you all, you know, learn from what I'm talking about because, I too, you know, was one who, oh, I don't want to be going out and talking about spiritualism, blah, blah, blah. And she taught me a lot. And now here I am. Uh, so listen to your inner voices. Continue on your mission. We all have a soul purpose. Don't deny it. And then the more we work with that, the universe responds. And so in Libra. 
Jupiter going into Libra for 13 months. Believe in yourselves, okay? Believe in yourselves. Everyone, this is for everyone. Jupiter going into Libra is for all signs. So believe in yourselves, people, okay? Look forward to what your soul mission is, okay? It takes time. I'm in my late 50s now, but I'm not going to give up. Five of water. Things not turning out the way you'd hope. Not seeing the positive in a situation. Crying over spilled milk. Okay. You know, here we have. And this is the truth. Many of us are just like, oh, woe is me. But literally, this card, as you can see, the three cards are broken. But what's left? The two of cups. The two of cups, my favorite card in all the tarot, and that's about a love affair, a true love affair coming, okay? And that's how you look at life, all right? You know, you deal with the challenges, like, like the Queen of Earth just said here. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. You know, shit happens every day. I mean, look at this. We've got people bombing innocent victims of out of hate. Don't turn it to negativity. The Two of Cups is a beautiful card. And that is about a pair of people doing things together. And that's the Cups is the heart zone, the feminine receptive, okay? And actually the court rank in them is the Queens. So see, the Queen of Earth is suggesting no matter what happens, treat it with an understanding and kind manner as you can because look, Love is still on the table, okay? Love is real, and love is still there. And the two of cups is a beautiful energy. It really is. You know, union of lovers, friends, and of course, that love affair. So don't deny it, people. Don't deny when the bad comes, because the good comes as well. Especially for those who believe. And that's why... I, I believe we can heal this planet if we collectively, consciously start working this way. You know, if we get, you know, in our funk and we start hating and, you know, we build that up. And, you know, the Dark Lord, Diablo, the devil loves that. He feeds off that. Okay. So, and no doubt about it, he's, you know, he's not going away. We can't kill the devil. I've said that a thousand times. So, but we can heal the planet. And I know, I believe this with all my heart, we can heal the phantom forces. Because I believe, you know, that once, once the dark forces see the light, because they're kept by a powerful magician, Diablo, who doesn't let them recognize the positive in life. But when... We as healers, spiritual teachers, with spiritual wisdom, you know, like Jesus. You know, I love Jesus. I totally do. He's, and he's here. He's here now. I've been saying that as well. So let, let the light, the light always overcomes the darkness. And that's why we pray to Luna. Because even though she doesn't really create light, it's the sun star, you know, when she's full moon that's lighting up the sky, okay? And in ancient times, who did not follow the stars and the moon? And that's why we have to go back to that, truly. Ah, uh, look at that, the Knight of Cups. Boy, we've got another water sign here. See how the Knight of Cups came through? <laughs> and he's... He's another one about, you know, just actually the Knight of Cups, okay? I just talked about Jesus, and and some people say that this is the Christ card, okay? The Christ card, mastery of creativity. You know, you're sacrificing for a higher cause. You really are. You're, 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 
you know that there's something else beyond this physical planet, this waking up every day, you know, to an eight to five job. You recognize that now. But uh, as a knight, he's got that young blood and, you know, he could be a little stubborn or a little cocky at times because he's a handsome man. There's no doubt about it. He's a handsome man. But yet, with the cubs, he, he reflects his uh, feminine side as well. It's a feminine receptive. So I think it's beautiful. And look at this unicorn, you know, just they're in glory moment right there. Just beautiful. So again, just go with the flow, people. Okay. And the court rank for the cubs I mentioned is the queens. So, you know, just master yourself. Go into that mastery position. Believe in you. You know, so we got to start somewhere, okay? And turn off that technology. You know, you turn on that boob tube and they try to feed you, you know, that, that subliminal kind of information. And it's not going to work anymore. I don't believe it. You know, if we start gaining becoming more spiritually involved collectively we can heal this planet you know no doubt about it even with prayer if all of us when people pray in groups and thousands you know just like for what they did in Orlando that that male man that man it made a big awareness okay we can heal even when people kill we can heal in masses if we throw the love out there in prayer look at that the higher front woohoo major arcana that's very good very good now he um for for the libra who's looking for love he can marry you okay no doubt about it. He's usually known or traditionally known as the Pope. Uh, but, you know, just like the Vatican, it's sort of like possessions and materialistic things and money. So we have to be careful on who we talk to, you know, because that Vatican is ruled by Diablo, no doubt about it. And that the Queen Elizabeth owns the Vatican. <laughs> I don't even know why I go on tangents. Princess Diana keeps coming to me. She wants me to do this video, but I know I'm going to be scorned with it. Three of coins. Ooh, look at this. Beautiful. There we go. Creativity comes through. Okay, no doubt. And this is the coins, this is the resources, earth business deals, financial beginnings, kind of like, you know, starting a new program here. So believe in yourselves, okay? Believe in yourselves. Go forward on what you really want to do. Even though you're starting these baby steps, that's okay. You know, you're probably indecisive right now. You're like, should I, should not I? Okay. I'm trying to remember what glyph this is right here. Hmm. Okay, it'll come to me. Okay, six of coins. There you are. So the resources and the money is on the table for us now. And that's Luna in Taurus. Awesome. Taurus, Venus ruled. Six, harmonizing. Oh, look at that, Libra. Look at that. It's got your sign right there. <laughs> How beautiful. And the six is, you know, usually that peace and karma card. How wonderful is that, that the Libras came through out that? Okay. You know, like, you, it's about financial obligations, like you're paying back 
So we have the Libra sign here. We got Taurus ruled by Venus. Both of you ruled by Venus. Harmonize yourselves. Find that. Find some peace in our lives, okay? And I'll read this card um, from this deck because this is a new deck for me, so I don't really follow it too much. Okay. Let's see, it's got the scales going on as well. So how wonderful that we did receive you know, a card to share with you the balance that we need to do, okay? And, and in case some of you may owe people some money, you're going to pay it back. It's just what you, you have to do karmically to bring the peace, okay? No doubt about it. Well, hold on. Before I go there, I want to pick... Archangel Raphael. I want to see what Archangel Raphael has to say. But here we also have the Queen of Earth. Okay. So she's mastered her coin position. No doubt about it. And now we have these cards saying, Oopie. Now we have these cards saying, yes. Keep going forward. And the Hierophant is there. Just keep moving forward. I love my Queen of Earth, no doubt about it. Okay, no doubt about it. Okay, well let's let's just let that slide for now. But and she's got the coin on. I mean, look at that coin chest right there. So let's just continue with what we're going to do, Libra. Looks like money is on the table, no doubt about it. Okay, let's see what Archangel Raphael. Oh my goodness gracious. This is the second time now. This has come out. Change physicians. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for leading me to the best healer for this situation. Amen. Okay, my darlings. I mean, if any of you truly are going through some, you know, predicaments with your health or uh, not feeling emotionally, mentally, physically, physiologically well, please don't just keep going to the same person, okay? Second opinion has come out twice, and now change physicians has come out twice. And the second opinion was about your health. Well, Archangel Raphael is all about the healing, okay? So, yes, he's going to speak about health. So let's just read him right now. This card indicates that the healthcare professional you've been working with or the person for whom you're inquiring for isn't effective for the situation. Perhaps it's beyond the training or equipment capacity of your present physician, or it may also stem from philosophical differences in personality or views on alternative healing modalities. And that's true, too. I mean, if you're going into a spiritual realm and you're dealing with a physician who, you know, doesn't even believe in God, you know what I mean? Regardless of the reasons, Archangel Raphael is guiding you to a new healer who's better suited to the situation. The first person you think of is the correct answer. And Raphael will provide you with additional information through your feelings thoughts, and signs, okay? We're talking about intuition, my dears. He'll guide you through a smooth and gentle transition so that your health and well-being are upheld at all times. And the possible specific meanings, get a second or third opinion. Be honest with yourself and your physician about your feelings. Change medication or treatment protocol. Know that you deserve a physician who will listen to your concerns and speak to you respectfully. Research alternative treatments. Make appointments to interview other healers and physicians. There you go. And the prayer again. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for leading me to the best healer for this situation. Amen. Okay, well, I have to say that's very deep because now this is the second time the same card came out and get a second opinion, also came out twice. So now, four times we've had, you know, the element of 
do not rely on the physicians that you're going to. You know, seek other wisdom, seek other counsel, you know, seek other professionals. And, and you know, again, maybe you need to go to an alternative medicine doctor. You know, why don't you ask questions with them? You know, because these conventional doctors just want to load you up with these, you know, pharmaceuticals and stuff. Okay. So just be open minded. And if they're not open minded to how you feel, you know, you can tell them straight out, well, I'm, you know, blah, blah, blah. And if they're like, no, you need to take this, you know, then just, just go to the next phase. Okay. I have to go here now because the Queen of Earth, all about the coins, is here. And uh, we have to really think about what's going on with the resources. So let's go to the Three of Coins. Because, you know, that's one thing about us humans. You know, we have to make the money to pay the bills. I mean, that's a fact of life. So let's just see what, what the Three of Coins has to say. And we'll stand the Queen of Earth tall because she's already mastered her position. So let's see what it says for the rest of us. Okay, look at this. Three of coins. Attaining mastery and knowledge of a particular field. The act of creation. Number three, all about creation. Making something refined out of rough, raw materials. Okay, a glass blower works at his furnace creating beautiful. Oh, look at that. A glass blower works at his furnace, creating beautiful refined forms from rough raw materials. Like the ace of coins, this image brings to mind the god Vulcan at his forge. This card shows a master craftsman, someone who has paid his dues and now commands respect as an expert in his field. He takes pride in his work and is eager to pass on his knowledge to a new generation. In a reading, this card indicates that you have attained mastery of a particular subject. It could also represent the act of creation, taking the raw materials and transforming them into exciting new shapes. And the astrology is Mars and Capricorn. Well, I knew it was that Capricorn, but I didn't want to bring it up because you know, the Abra is always in the, in the mix of making money. Okay, that's, that's how it works, people. He's full of the karma. He rules karma. So we don't want to be, you know, eager beaver for the money. And that's the beauty of the queen of earth. Even though she has mastered herself, she is the philanthropist. Okay. She gives money away. She gives her time away. She gives her love for service for the good of all. All right. That's what she does. Okay. In the astrology, you have the power Mars to harness Capricorn transformative energies like the fire in the craftsman's kill to give shape to refined creations. There we go. Okay. So we harness, harness Capricorn, harness Diablo. So, you know, think open minded, even though you're starting out. You know, it's not about you just making money and, and just, you know, having a lot of stuff and you. Give back, okay, pay it forward. And then we got another coins here in the Taurus with the Libra sign. This is what's so beautiful to me. Okay, and this is the six of coins. And then we'll end with this. Six of coins for my Libra friend. Charity, sharing, establishing balance. Look at that charity sharing we're just saying how the queen of earth has mastered herself because she shares she gives back she's been through the threes the sixes you know and and all of that and here she is standing the ground getting grounded with mother and sharing and balancing an unequal relationship in which one person gives and the other takes. A richly dressed young man holds a set of scales in one hand and with the other hand offers us the astrological glyph for Libra, also representing scales. 
This card means charity or an effort to reestablish fairness and equality and equity in an unfair world. In material endeavors, we often get caught up in the effort to acquire as much as possible. And, you know, see, that's what Diablo does, you know. That's, that's his role, to get you all jacked up like that. Okay. In the Six of Coins, we experience the pleasures of sharing what we have acquired. The evenly balanced scales show us the importance of balance and fairness in material matters. Do we have too much? Question mark. Does someone else not have enough? Question mark. The answers to these questions will differ for everyone, but this card encourages us to at least ask the questions. On an uh, intrapersonal level, this card might suggest an unequal relationship in which one person always gives and the other person always takes. While the man seems to be handling out equality with one hand, notice that the scales in his other hand are still unbalanced. Okay, so see, see the metaphysics speaking right there. How uh, Sivar Marchetti wrote this and painted this. Okay. And the astrology is the moon in Taurus, ruled by Venus. We all have a natural tendency, the moon, which can be either encouraged or resisted according to our personalities, to express our maternal, compassionate, and protective instincts in a patient and tireless way, represents Taurus. Okay. Wow. Beautiful. Okay, my drawings. So you see, be thoughtful, be creative, be warm, sensible. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind of, you know, think, master yourself like the queen and kings. They've been through it all, and they've been through the takers. They've been through the haters. You know what I mean? And it's not to say that we can't still, you know, block ourselves and do things like that. But, you know, we're not here forever, people, on this planet. I mean... You know, I, I, now that I'm in my 50s, really, I, you know, I don't know if I have 50 left in me. So it's like, I'm really trying to, you know, give back. You know, Spirit wanted me to come on YouTube, per se. So this is what I do. And it's not about me, but actually I'm living it. I live this way. I'm giving a service, and I give it up to the universe. They will protect me my angels, my guides, my Jesus, and we see what happens. And for those of you who are starting young and learning, I wish in my 20s I had people on a YouTube to I could listen to, you know, and get them and, and receive wisdom. But nonetheless, your wisdom comes from within, okay? You can watch a thousand videos. You still have to go within and tap it and realize it and believe in you. You have a soul mission on this planet, okay? Your soul came here at this time. You're coded the day you were born to do something, okay? Whatever that is. But don't go on Diablo's side just trying to make money, okay? That, that never will give you happiness, never. Okay? You can watch a television when all these celebrities and stuff, they die of drug overdoses or they're, Killed in car, you know what I'm saying? I mean, every day somebody dies and you don't have to have money to do that, but what I'm saying, that's what Diablo runs, okay? Hate. So, there's nothing wrong with making money, but just understand how to balance it. You give back, okay? And that your soul then goes, your soul then grows into that next alignment that when you do pass, you go to that next higher position. You start mastering. Your soul starts mastering, okay? I can't believe that a soul comes in here to go to the depths of hell and then has to start all over again, okay? If you're born wicked and evil, you're going to stay right there, okay? Your soul doesn't really move forward. But if, you know, you're born to be a queen of earth, okay, or a king of earth, or you're born to give back. You know, you're born to be Mother Teresa. God bless her soul. Your soul continues 
to be ascended and ascended. Just like all those saints and those masters, the ascended masters, they came here on this physical planet to do what they had to do. But then look, then they move forward. And they still send us beautiful blessings. Okay, so master yourselves, my darlings. It's really not about money. It's about what you can do with resources in your life and many others, okay? And Libra, again, that we're going into this Jupiter sign. Let's talk about this, that these coins came up, okay? Let's think about it. In case you start doing well, my Libra, or anybody watching this and you have Libra in your chart or a loved one, don't be getting materialistic, okay? Because Jupiter can bring you that expansion, that growth, that resources. Venus can bring you that partner, that love. But, you know, watch those shows as well. I mean, you know, you win the lottery and you get all, the Diablo comes in right away. Something happens and you get murdered. I just watched a show the other day. This woman wins the lottery after 20 years. Why do I win the lottery? She wins it. And then all of a sudden her husband murdered her for the money. You know what I mean? So just pay it forward, give it back. You can't take it with you. Can't take it with you. Okay. Enjoy it. There's no reason not. This Mother Earth wants us to have abundance, but it's how we work with it. Do we share it? Do we give back? Do we provide? Do we donate? Okay. This is how we do it. Much love to you all. Thank you for watching. And again, I'm so appreciative to all my new friends on the Twitter and the Pinterest. It's just amazing to me. You know, I'm not very techno savvy, so it's really, uh, you know, it's, it's wonderful in a lot of positive ways, in a lot of positive ways. Thank you, my dears. I was looking forward to this Libra reading, but, you know, so uh, I just want you to all know that grow up, you know, whatever age you are watching this, you can't take it with you. You can't take money with you, okay? Once you pass, it's done. But your soul continues to create for you, the next body you come into. So prepare for that, okay? Prepare for that. Blessings and have a wonderful month of July. <laughs> Go outside, get outdoors, look up to our sun star, to Luna, and wish upon those stars to make those dreams come true. Love to all. Ciao.